All right. There it is. All right. So the bell is rung, <coughs> and class is in session. So please stay nice and quiet, and pay attention to this lesson. <coughs> First law tells you what you already knew, that there's a natural tendency for you to do what you do. Every object, including you, wants to resist change. It rests our emotion, we all want to stay the same. Not everything wants to stop moving like Aristotle said. Galileo and Copernicus disagreed, but now they're all dead. Newton offers us the answer. It's not motion or rest, but whatever you're already doing that you'll do the best. If there's no outside force and you keep the same speed in a straight line, thus Newton's first law is decreed. The second law comes along to change the game. If there is a change in motion, then a force is to blame. Put a force on something and you'll change its motion. Friction's one example that'll slow your roll, son. And the greater the force, the more they change, but the more the inertia, the more things stay the same. Inertia is not about volume or weight, but mass. That's two of Newton's laws that I taught to the class. But for the third one, you're going to have to wait. Now cut the beat and check out this funky guitar break. I get him a Grammy Award. <laughs> I don't even have to wait for the beat to drop again. I just drop right in and I start my flow and I start my spin and I roll and I roll and I roll and I can't stop. It's like inertia, you know? And if I don't keep control, I might pour out my heart and my soul and be the best rapper you'll meet on the street, but I don't have to handle defeat because those who try to battle me get, wait for it, beat. <laughs> Yeah. 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 